Hey guys, I'm the Cyborg Sheep, and welcome to the Weekend Post. In this video, we are going to be finishing up the robotic arm project. So grab your soldering iron and a screwdriver, and let's get started. The first thing that I need to do is electrically connect the output of the power supply to the input of the robotic arm. To do that, I prepared the three wires on the output of the power supply, and I did the same to a short length of wire I had left over. Now, to connect the wires, I could have just soldered them together. However, it will be much easier to perform maintenance on this contraption if the wires can be easily disconnected. So instead, what I did is I used a three-wire screw terminal. Okay, so, got the main power wires hooked into the power wires of the robot arm, so we're going to plug it in, give it a test. Well, what do you figure, boys? Pop, fart, half a turn, let's smoke out. We are going to see what the answer to that is. And, plugging in the power supply. Okay, everything seems good. I'll grab an uh, alligator clip here and. Alright! Wait, excuse you, huh? Okay, now everything's working. There is the light, and as you can see, I can move the arm in both directions. Perfect!
Despite the whole beginning being ever so slightly sketchy, it turned out alright and the bolts fit okay. What comes next is soldering, but a lot of soldering at that. So let's start a time lapse. Alright, wasn't as easy to go together as I would have thought, um, however, the control box is complete. I left the wires long because I wanted it to be easy to service the switches and be able to take it out, but I guess I left them too long. Here's, so here's the thing, you leave them too long, you can't get the darn case back together, but you, you leave them too short, then you can't service them, so kind of a trade-off you have to make there. Anyways. Alright, so, assuming we didn't churn anything out, let's plug her in, and I think we're ready for a final test run. So, stick her on the 120 volts, stick in the control box, and we'll be golden. Let's do this. Oh man, this thing is so cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think I've built the most overpowered toy robotic arm. Turned out better than I expected, and it's more than restored the original condition of this thing. And if not improved it, with the addition of, for example, these, these switches that uh, won't bust in a couple of years, or, for example, the fact that it plugs in to the, to the wall. You don't need any batteries. Pretty sweet. Anyways, guys, I think we're going to leave the video at that. Now, 
one more thing I, I want to mention is that now, technically, this is not supposed to be plugged in. There's no fuse protection, so if this thing ever fails, um, <laughs> just, you know, keep that in mind. But, it should be okay, and in the future, I may consider adding fuse protection and some other elements to it. And, in, in the even far, more far off future, I might even consider going to a different power supply method um, entirely. But, for now, I think this will satisfy my needs. So, with that, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.